guys, Anthony here, Empire Music, EmpireMusic.com. Super excited to show you this bass today. Haven't had one of these in a while. In fact, we've never had one from this master builder, but this is a Fender Custom Shop Empire 58 Precision Bass from Austin McNutt, who's one of my favorite master builders in the Fender Custom Shop. Each master builder kind of has their own personality on an instrument. And I always love the way that Austin stuff feels in my hands and there's always I think with each one of them, it kind of goes back to their personality, but it kind of the devil's in the details with them. And as you get more familiar with each builder, you really start to appreciate those details. The way his finish checking works, where he puts the wear patterns, how the wear is on there, um, and just kind of the overall feel. And all their fret work kind of has their own personality to it. I know when I did the, the, the Castadosa video, we were talking about Carlos Lopez's fretwork on there um, and how exquisite that stuff is. Each master builder, every time we get one of those instruments, um, there is a, there's a certain level of enjoyment that I get out of that instrument when I see this beautiful fretwork, these really rounded edges on there. But again, even down to those details, they all have their own bits of personality to it which is what I love about them. So it's our Empire 58 P bass, right? This is a bass that I designed here. Well, we all designed it here in-house. I had a large hand in it, but you know, Todd was instrumental in, in selecting the pickups and helping me um, kind of work through prototyping the pickups. And we, we designed the pickup with Vincent Van Tricht in the custom shop, the renowned bass builder. Um, he's another one that just does amazing, amazing work. We can't keep his stuff in stock. And, this, by the time you watch this video, this bass might not even be here, but we're going to do it anyway. You know, the, the Andy Hicks ones, we had two of those came through, and both of those sold like really, really quickly. Um, so, but it has all of our specs that we picked out for it. And I've kind of based, and I've said this before, but I'll just to kind of reiterate it, I based, no pun intended, I based this bass on my 2018 Custom Shop 58P bass. And I, I kind of just made whatever, if you want to call them improvements, really just things that I would like out of the base that wasn't there on my, my, 50, my 2018. So we took like a 60s profile. We'll, we'll just, just talk about the specs. I guess that's probably the easiest way to do it. Um, this one's in Age Dakota Red, or I'm sorry, Age Cimarron Red. A really cool finish, beautiful pick card on there. Um, so spec wise, and this is across the board with all of our Empire 58 P bases. Although there is one thing I'll show you that is exclusive only to master builders, which I think is really cool. So roasted two piece alder body, roasted one piece maple neck, our Empire 58 P pickup in it, which 
voicing wise sits in between uh, the late um, the late 50s and the early 60s. So you know if you've seen or heard me talk about this stuff before, um, gives you the compression you get from the late 50s with a little bit of the uh, output that you get from the 60s. All of that sort of culminating in something that I think is the most responsive P pickup that I've ever played, at least for my touch, which is um, selfishly what it's based around, I guess. Uh, but depending on where you put your hand and how hard or light you attack, it really changes the shape of the note. We'll get into some of that. And we, I have some effects out here. We'll mess around with them. And uh, at the intro there, I was playing through an envelope filter, an MXR bass envelope filter, which for my money anymore has become kind of my favorite envelope filter. And I have quite a few of them. I've really been digging that one. Um, so now, so yeah, two piece roasted alder body, one piece roasted maple neck, quarter sawn maple, uh, reverse gear tuners, one and three quarters nut width here. So the vintage P-Bass thing. The big difference that we see in our Empire 58s is that it has a 60s oval C neck profile on it. So rather than the typical late 50s 57 soft V, which is on my 2018, I like that neck, but it's chunkier. It's not quite the 51 U neck, but it's definitely something that is a little bit more cumbersome to play. And, and I really like that, but I wanted to make something that um, really gave really no player a gripe, hopefully, if that makes sense. So like, if you like the chunk of your neck, this still isn't like so thin that you're feeling like it's like a modern D or like a, an American Ultra neck. But if you liked that really modern style C or D neck, this wasn't so thick that you're like, oh my God, I can't play that thing. It really kind of sits right in the middle. I think it's kind of the, the, uh, the Goldilocks zone of the neck profiles, if that makes sense. Um, so it really kind of gives something to every player. Uh, and then visually, they don't stick to the late 50s thing. So like we do a lot with the gold anodized guards and we do a lot with those standard like black Olympic, if it was Olympic, whatever the late, I'm not that much of a historian on this stuff. So I don't know all the finishes that were available in 58. I'm sure someone in the YouTube comment section can school me on the exact finishes and what months they were. Um, manufactured in 1958 and how they changed them in the 1959 and 1957 so on and so forth I love that information but I don't know it all offhand so really I just wanted to design cool looking bases whether that involved an anodized guard or a white pit guard or a black anodized guard or a red torque guard whatever a, a, I don't think I did any with a black plastic guard maybe that's for the next one the next batch so they don't always look like 50s P bases. They can have a lot of looks of uh, 90s P bases or 2000s or a lot of 60s with the, the red tort. Um, but they all have the maple neck, one piece quarter sawn. We're not doing any rosewood on the 58s. Now, typically you hear me speak about how much I enjoy the two-tone back of the neck. And this one's a little bit different. Typically what we see on the back of the neck with our 58s is the roasted maple with a non-roasted skunk stripe in the back. But with the master builders, um, they are able to do it with a walnut stripe on there. So that's the one really defining thing that if you ever see one of our 58s out in the wild, and there's quite a few of them, we've probably sold 40 or 50 of these bases by now. Uh, there's only been, I think this is the third or fourth, fourth master, master build. We did a Vince, two Andy Hicks, and this Austin. And uh, I think there's another Austin coming in. Don't quote me on that though. It, it, you'll see him with the walnut skunk stripe. So that's a kind of a cool factoid about these bases. Sonically, I love them. I play an Olympic white one, not a master built one yet. However, I'm sure at some point I'm gonna own a master built Empire 58. If you'd like to own a master built Empire 58 or this one, please reach out to the shop. It's 412-343-5299. You can email me directly anthony at empiremusic.com. I'll put a link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. That'll get you right to our in-stock Fender Custom Shop basis, so you might see one on there. Uh, but you can always reach out to me and like, I can let you know what's kind of coming down the pipeline. We don't always have these master builds, um, usually one or two at a time. And again, they don't last more than max a few weeks, if not just a couple days. They're, they're, they're pretty sought after as they are awesome instruments. So sonically, we're gonna take all the effects off. Um, the effects I have, and I don't really know, you know me, I like to improvise through my videos a little bit here, uh, at least as far as what I'm doing. And uh, so I got a base envelope filter MXR, 
Earthquake, three earthquake or devices pedals, our neighbors out in Akron. The Westwood, which is my favorite bass overdrive. Uh, the, the Way Huge Pork and Pickle and this are, tend to be my, my favorite kind of fuzz and overdrive pedals for bass. The new earthquake or devices, Aurelius, easy for me to say, on the chorus setting. And then we have a ghost echo just for a little bit of reverb on there. Uh, so let's just go clean, move our hand around, kind of give you the dynamic range of our Empire 58s, but with Austin McNutt's masterful touch on the instrument, and uh, it is masterful. This is a beautiful, beautiful instrument, an absolute joy to play. So let's check it out. <laughs> I'm always reminded very quickly when I play these instruments how much you can dictate the tone of them. That's why I love that pickup. That's why I love a P bass in general, but when you get a really good one, as this one is probably one of the best in the world as far as build quality here. Um, sonically, it's opinionated, I'm biased, but I think these are the best. Uh, check it out, just like, you know, kind of like looking at that small. like three drastically, I think, drastically different tones. And when I say that, it doesn't mean that it changes the entire sound of the instrument. Um, it, it's still whatever instrument you're playing is there and present at its core, but with a good sensitive, well-made instrument, sensitive pickup, I should say, in a well-made instrument, you really can change the shape of the note and dictate the, the kind of the way that instrument sits in a mix or as, as a solo instrument. It's great, and that's what I love about our Empire 58 so much. So let's roll some tone off, kind of do the same thing. I'm gonna go back about 70. Yeah, about 70%. Show a little bit of that with pick.
get a little overdrive on that, see where that goes. <laughs> Super cool, right? Uh, we'll pop a little chorus on that. So we just popped a little bit of reverb on there in the middle of that and then back that off. So awesome, awesome basses. Just to recap, a clean tone. <laughs> So it's like really the shining showcase of an instrument like that. We can put all those effects on there and I love playing with effects and I've had some people reach out and say, hey, well, you play more with a pick. Obviously that's a struggle for me, much more comfortable with fingers, but use it, use some effects on there. Let's showcase the bass in, in different areas and I love playing with effects in the right time, in the right place. But really like the instrument shines clean just on its own and relying on you, the player, relying on the bass to be an extension of you, the player, your attack, uh, your hand placement, so on and so forth. So, very proud to show you this, the Austin McNutt Master Built Fender Custom Shop Empire 58 Precision Bass. That's a lot of words there. But if you like it or you wanna see more of it or if you wanna see anything that we have in the Fender Custom Shop, click the link in the description, shoot me a call at the shop. 
The website's empiremusic.com. The phone number is 412-343-5299. My email personally is anthony at empiremusic.com. You can get right to me that way. Thanks for watching. It's a great one.